Welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. It's not an exciting time for any economy around the world. I'm sure you know that businesses are really, really struggling under COVID-19 and uh, people are having to lay off workers. Some are having to downsize. Others are shutting down completely. Why? Because they need to keep afloat. Now, in times like these, you're wondering what is the best way to restructure? And that's our focus this morning. And uh, the uh, organization to help us talk about it is the Ghana Association of Restructuring and insolvency advisors. Uh, they are consultant uh, Audrey Nade Kote joins me now on the phone. Good morning Audrey. Good morning. I trust you're well. You, you played a key role during the restructuring of uh, the banking sector when the Bank of Ghana had to reduce the number of commercial banks from 36 to 23. How different is that restructuring from what businesses are going through right now? Okay, so the, the restructuring within the banking sector was performed by, um, cons by members of the Ghana Association of Restructuring and Insolvency Advisors, Garia, mm -hmm. through um, some of its um, um, partner firms. But with this, what is happening in the government sector, in the economy now, is quite different because in the banking sector, that was um, a regulatory, it was an act from the regulator. So the regulator was acting to close down banks that were uh, basically insolvent that were performing at, um, at rates that could potentially cause economic downturn in mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. So that it, was, it was actually a proactive move from the Bank of Ghana right. to ensure that the banking industry was operating at, um, at the optimal level by closing down banks that had either too many non-performing loans mm -hmm. or what, that were actually um, operating from a position of insolvency. Mm -hmm. What is happening in the economy now is, is basically the, the ripple, ripple effect of a natural occurrence. Okay. Now, the COVID um, pan pandemic is something that nobody could have anticipated would, would happen. Mm -hmm. But it has happened, and it's causing several shocks within the Ghanaian economy, mm -hmm. which is slightly different from a move of the regulator. Okay. So now what is going to happen is regulators and industry will have to see how to respond to that move um, in the optimal manner in order to, to sustain economic viability in the mm -hmm. long term. Now, the new Corporate Insolvency and uh, Restructuring Act that was assented by President Ikufuado this year, what's in it for businesses around times like these? Okay, so, so the new Corporate Restructuring and Insolvency Act, honestly, couldn't have come at a more, a more um, opt time in our government, in our country's history. Mm -hmm. Now, prior to this, um, if a company is, insolvent or having um, any financial difficulties or basically difficulties uh -huh. the only option that they had was to go um, was to go into an official liquidation what we know as an official liquidation where the registrar of company takes over the company mm -hmm. and basically disposes of its assets and pays off creditors now with the passage of the corporate insolvency uh, corporate restructuring and insolvency act mm -hmm. we've we've um, we've brought something into our economy that sort of helps companies to revamp after a downfall. Mm -hmm. So now we've, with the new act, you have restructuring and administration, which okay. were previously not known to our laws in Ghana, except for specialized industries like the banking sector and the insurance sector. Mm -hmm. Now restructuring and insolvency has become a viable option for basically every business within the economy, okay. where you can have a certified insolvency practitioner to come into the business mm -hmm. and to help you to restructure your debt, to restructure your business completely. Hello? Oh, oh, the line went off. Um, and that was Audrey uh, Nade Kotel, who is a consultant to the Ghana Association of Restructuring and Insolvency Advisors. So try and raise it back on the phone. We're basically trying to look at how businesses should be restructuring at this time. I know most of them do not have a choice. Some are having to lay off workers. Others are having to downsize. Others are shutting down completely. We are told 
uh, those in the hospitality industry are having to shut down completely. But this insolvency act that was assented to uh, by President Kufuado this year, we we're wondering what is in it for businesses, especially around a time like this where we are all faced with a pandemic. We also want to find out from her uh, what the role of the Registrar General uh, Department as well as Garia is uh, in this process so that if businesses would want to, you know, access uh, this uh, act and, and maybe funds available, we want to know how they're supposed to, to do so. I'm sure you also know that governments had announced uh, some 600 million cities, you know, uh, a stimulus package for businesses or SMEs around this time. And so uh, we also would want to find out whether really that ties in into the insolvency arts. We're still trying to reach here. If you just tune in, we are looking at how businesses should restructure at this time of COVID-19. We've been speaking to Audrey Nade Kote, who's a consultant to the Ghana Association of Restructuring and Insolvency Advisors. Good morning once again, Audrey. Right. So we were speaking about how businesses can relate or what's in, in it for uh, this new insolvency act assented uh, by President Kufado this year. What's in it for businesses, especially around uh, times like these? Okay, so as I was saying, the, mm. the, the new act introduces a form of um, a form of protection for businesses mm. in the form of restructuring and administration. Mm. So what would typically happen is that businesses would incur a lot of debt and basically would be in a situation where they are being chased down by regulators and by creditors, okay. and they, are, they would have employee issues, etc., etc. Mm. Now, what the new corporate restructuring and insolvency act does mm. is it gives businesses a form of protection in the form of um, administration and restructuring, mm -hmm. which allows the businesses to, to bring in a professional, as in, that is an insolvency practitioner, okay. who would help them to reorganize the affairs of the business in a way to continue to be viable. Mm -hmm. Now, while this exercise goes on, the businesses would be protected from the acts of the creditors and from the acts of the regulators. And so like, it would be better. You can't, they wouldn't have so many um, they wouldn't have so many issues that are deferring, deterring them from being able to restructure the company adequately. How about they access to funds? To Does it give businesses any access to funds at all? Yes. Yes. So the Act introduces something known as post-commencement financing. Okay. After businesses opt to enter into restructuring or insolvency, the Act allows the insolvency practitioners to approach finance institutions, banks and other financial institutions, to, to um, acquire financing, to acquire funds to be able to company. Okay. Now what happens is the financial institutions are encouraged to provide this sort of funding for struggling businesses because the funding would be ring-fenced and would become a preferential debt above even the government and um, other other creditor debt. So the post commencement financing would be paid first after the company starts to gain some revenue. Mm -hmm. But the material that the company is gaining is getting back on its feet, that they would be protected and they would have access to that sort of financing financing from the banking sector and other financial institutions. Okay, so what's the role of the Registrar General and Garia in all of these? How do they help the process? Okay, so Garia, as I said, is the Association for the and Insolvency Advisors. Okay. It's, it's, it's an area that has been um, very little um, utilized in Ghana up until now. Mm -hmm. So what it does is Garia trains insolvency and restructuring professionals. G Garia was actually the main advocate for the restructuring and insolvency in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Garia tried to make sure that companies had a form of, like the U.S. Chapter 11 protection. Okay. Okay, um, insolvency protection. So Garia is the main advocate, and Garia is going to ensure that insolvency practitioners are trained and prepared to be able to actually go in and help companies to restructure their 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 affairs in a way to make them viable. Mm -hmm. Garia's main aim is to ensure that companies remain viable and that they don't, especially from all that is happening in the economy now, which is why we feel that the, the act couldn't have come at a more opportune give yeah. companies the opportunity to take advantage of the of, of the professional help of the members of the Ghana Association of Restructuring and Insolvency Advisors and take advantage of all the benefits that the Act has to offer. Okay, be before I let you go, uh, how about businesses that have parent companies outside the country? Do they also benefit from this Act? 
Yes. So, so in the in historically, Ghana didn't really recognize Ghana didn't recognize um, cross border insolvency. Okay. Now, with the new act, we have um, provisions that relate to cross border insolvency, relate insolvency restructuring and administration of companies that have um, subsidiaries or parents outside. Okay. We, can, we actually recognize insolvency, for example, within the aviation industry, where you have a lot of companies whose parents is outside. Now, Ghana is also going to recognize whatever insolvency and restructuring procedures are being undertaken by your parents' company in Ghana. And mm-hmm. we will more or less um, extend those restructuring and administration benefits to you. Okay. Now, with your parent company in courts outside would also be recognized in Ghana. And we have more cooperation between other international agencies okay. with regards to restructuring and insolvency. Audrey, we are grateful that you made time to speak with us this morning. Audrey Nade Kote is a legal practitioner and a consultant to the Ghana Association of Restructuring and Insolvency Advisors. We are standing uh, the discussion on Business Focus tonight, where we speak to the president of Gary. So businesses would want to appreciate what to be doing around this time where we are having to restructure. So make a date with us tonight at 6 p.m. with uh, Alfredo Kansi as we extend the discussion.